Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at the next version of Windows. This is Windows 12 Lite. That's obviously a joke. Windows 12 doesn't exist, and even if it did, they wouldn't call it Windows 12 Lite. This is a custom ISO, and apparently there's like a whole, I don't wanna say saga, but there's a whole story behind this operating system and like how it was for sale at one point. And there's just a whole bunch of stuff behind this OS that is just, it's really crazy. This has been a thing since like 2020 or even maybe prior to it, but I've never actually taken a look at it. I've just seen videos from someone like Michael MJD. So let's get straight into it. First things first, you know, this is like your typical Ubuntu setup. In fact, it even says Ubuntu. I don't like that the cursor is pointing the opposite way. And now it's not, now it is. All right, we're gonna erase the disk and install Ubuntu because I was testing with this prior. And it does look like it's using Linux Lite 4.8. Um, but that is just because I already have it installed on the disk. So this is like your t this is literally your typical out of box experience that you would get within you know Ubuntu. But all right, we are now installing Windows 12 Lite. Um, just take a look through the journey from Windows 7 to a Linux Lite. That's a long. The community is an integral part. Firefox, Microsoft Office. Windows 12 Lite is powerful media tools, ready to go, and a variety of hardware. So we're gonna let this install, and we're gonna see what happens. All right, and here we are inside of Windows 12 Lite. Let's take a look first thing in the control panel here, where I can maybe change my resolution here. Okay, there we go. So this is Windows 12 Lite. First thing, the background is Windows 10's background. That's very unique and very, very original. On the desktop, we have the control panel, which is like the Android settings or the Android Google admin panel. Um, user files, which, you know, that's just your typical home folder. Um, network, which is just kind of like your network settings. You can access the Windows network. Uh, this PC, which contains, you know, your drives that are within your computer. The recycle bin, which is just trash. And then the help manual, which I'm curious if they wrote their own help, and they did not. It literally just redirected. It redirects us to the Linux Lite um, help manual. Taking a look down on the system taskbar or the tr tray, whatever you want to call it, we have our calendar, our volume controls, and our networking controls. Which our networking controls are a little less rich as they are in Windows. Um, our volume control does have a whole bunch more settings, including a mics, a mic controller, a volume controller audio mixer and things like that now I don't like how it looks like this looks very plain but at the same time this is also like 2020 so this is like the COVID days um, opening up our menu here we can see this does not look similar to a Windows start menu it kind of does um, we have favorites recently used all which this is all of our apps my computer which is just kind of like you know I find it funny, like the inconsistencies, like my computer, this PC. Uh, that's just something I find funny. Also, another thing is like it takes a while to get that start menu to open. Uh, settings, accessories, um, graphics. It does come with GIMP pre-installed. Internet comes with Firefox. Multimedia, so it comes with VLC by default. Office, um, you know your typical Ubuntu. I forget what it's called. And then system. And TFS configuration tool, that's the first thing that popped out to me. Windows support, um, maybe. Uh, maybe, I, I actually don't know what this does. Closing that out, let's take a look at some of the things that are installed. Um, which there's really not a lot installed, which I like. Um, they should definitely take some notes on this. I'm interested to see what the firewall configuration is because I am pretty big into cybersecurity. Um, so there's a lot of different profiles public home office is set to home right now status is on so incoming deny outgoing allow um i'm a little confused like what is it going what is it allowing um so there's no rules by default but if i wanted to create a firewall rule and i want to deny outbound can i select a port no can i not select the port well, I just want to see, like, if I deny all outbound for, oh, wait, there we go, advanced. All right, let's see. I just want to outbound 443. 
I don't know what that is. Protocol T. Yeah, I would assume. Oh, wait, no. So. Okay. That's just something we can take a look at later. I just find firewalls interesting, that kind of stuff. Going to um, all back again. Let's just take a quick scroll here. There's nothing really that interesting. Language support has the standard Google Translate logo. Um, that's pretty much it for that. There's nothing really spectacular in there or anything. Right clicking on the desktop, we can see a few options, including open in new window, um, create launcher. I don't know what that does. Create URL links like a shortcut. Uh, create folder, create document, um, open terminal here, task manager, screenshot, open as administrator, which I don't actually know what this does. Oh, it uses the root account. Okay. Um, search here, um, desktop settings, applications. So this is literally just another start menu, basically. All right. So with that being said, this was Windows 12 Lite, an operating system that I have never taken a look at, but I have heard of it for quite a long time. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe for new on here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.